Okay, how about some deltoid isometrics at this stage and working around the shoulder? Again, we got subscapularis protection. I got John, he's in a neutral rotation. And I'm going to give him just a little bit of pressure there and he's going to feel that. Now I'm going to go a little bit into abduction. He goes into adduction. And now a little abduction. Now a little flexion. Extension. So I'm pressing forward on his elbow. Adduction. I'm pulling him up. He's adducting. I'm giving sub-maximal resistance, very, very light resistance, but I just want him to recognize the fact that I am giving him some force all around, 360, all the way around this joint and giving him some manual resistance. So forward and now pushing back and he's going to resist, pushing in, he's going to abduct, and as I pull up, he adducts and goes into isometrics. We're holding these, you know, roughly three to five seconds, just want to turn this muscle on to prevent the shutdown. The more we turn this muscle on, the better he'll be able to function and elevate his arm as he starts to get up towards six weeks post-op when it's time to start doing some active motion. The other thing that I have uh, John do is he can push into a pillow. And if he sets himself up at home, where we've got this and we put this pillow here, he can kind of just abduct a little bit into that pillow. We can put the pillow behind him and he just extends into it. Again, he's staying neutral. He's doing this very submaximal and 50% effort, even a little bit less. I would not try to overpower this. Patients are usually not going to be able to do that at this stage anyways, but this is another selection of an exercise you may want to choose.